Hello, everyone. Uh, we are back in the forest. Oh, there we go. All right, we're back in the forest. I mean, I kind of figure out where I need to go. It's um, I actually found the wiki for Amori, and it does it does like list instructions on how to do like every side mission. It's at like the second spider area, or the second spider puzzle. So like, I think over here. It's either this one or the one below it. Uh oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Ah. Come on. Uh, let's try the the one below it. I kind of don't remember anything being like near that area. Oh. Oh my god, he's still afraid of spiders. This probably won't be too bad though. Yeah, there we go. Ah, right there. Oh, that's my teddy bear. I'm so happy to have you back. Thank you for returning him to me. He's a small gift for you. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Rubber duck. Come on, we should go play. Oh, I know. Would you like a cup of tea? Okay, um, that's probably an equipment if I had to guess. Oh, ah, come on. Defense plus seven. Doesn't like you very much. <laughs> Eh, I don't like defense strats that much, so we'll just ignore that one. Well, that done though, let's go back to Pluto. Oh my god, no, oh. That is not where we have to go. <laughs> Deep well. Alright, let's start this place proper now. Jaw some loans. Isn't that Sweetheart? Hey, Sweetheart, remember us? We're the kids who almost ruined your wedding. What? You four again? Why do you keep showing up? So, how's married life treating you? Married life is a joke. I ended relationships with that pitiful excuse of a captain a long time ago. But your wedding was yesterday. Oh no, does that mean you and Space Husband are... He's Space Ex-Husband now, for all I care. That poor guy. Alas, my journey has gone full circle. It is uh, more obvious to me now than ever that my perfect suitor does not exist. Don't say that, sweetheart. I'm sure your soulmate is out there somewhere. Oh, my sweet hero. How, how I've longed for your voice. But no, I must refrain. I've already decided my path. Searching for a suitor is much too old-fashioned for me. 
So I decided that I will simply just make one. What? Make a suitor? Is that even possible? By regular people means no, but a wealthy person such as myself does not uh, does not abide by such rules. I'm go. Uh, I'm going someplace only filthy rich people like myself can afford, to a family of sea witches that specialize in clients with special demands. Toodaloo, peasants. I'm late for my appointment. So, shall we follow her, or what? I feel like even every time Sweetheart shows up, something bad happens. Yeah, when it comes to disaster, she's in a league of her own. All right. I want to see what's up here first. Oh! It's a muscle! Yep. Oh! I like this background a lot. Wait. Uh, what? Am I ever leveled for this? I don't think so. I did. I didn't do any grinding off screen. Can't catch me. I'm gonna guess that raises evasion. Huh. It, it costs way too much for my liking, though. It was like fifty. Check out Fofax. I want to see what that thing is. A very muscular muscle. It keeps an incredibly strenuous workout regimen uh, regimen in order to maintain its rock solid physique. Shucker. I know what a shucker is. Is that a weapon or something? Oh, it's a food item, though. It might be a weapon for you. Yeah, it is. Why would I want to attack on Hero? Uh, I think I just prefer him to have the frying pan. Yeah. Also, that, um, I didn't even notice, but that, um, item has, like, a utility of making his healing uh, abilities more good or more powerful, which is good for him. Alright, what are you? <laughs> Fish bunny. I like it. This did a lot of damage last time I did it. That should do more. Huh, maybe I am overleveled for this area. Maybe I was supposed to do this area before the casino. That's the only thing I can think of. A forest bunny that is uh, aptly adapted to its environments. They travel in groups as they do not like to be alone. But I fought that one by itself. <laughs> so, what's all this? Stolen furniture? Inner tube. Defense increases with more energy. Makes it easier yet harder. <laughs> Again, I'm not a big fan of defense strats, so... Oh! Shark fin. That's sad, that's angry.
Hmm. Do I need to use magic abilities against them? Maybe something like a power hit. I remember last time I passed to, I think it was a Mori, and we just kind of won that fight. What the? Pass to Aubrey. She's strong, and Amori is uh, happy right now. Oh yeah, you're meant to use special moves on them. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't want to waste too much magic. You're not happy, but... That might be the best we have. Or actually, do run and gun. This should be it. Okay, so it just has low health, but like a lot of defense. It's one of those enemies. Enchant. Acts first. A foe targets hero for one turn and becomes happy. Don't you have another move? What? Why is that less? What is with these MP costs? I mean, making an opponent happy might not be good, but... I feel like a utility like that would... Like, maybe cost more... God, some of the... The MP costs in this game are really something. It doesn't look like killing that guy did anything, so... I guess I just can't do anything with this area. Oh, ah, you again. I think I'm good on health, I can take this thing out. Oh, I almost forgot to. Exclusively the fin part of a shark. <laughs> I like the idea of a, um, of like, a fish that looks like the body part of another fish. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Sharks are fish, right? Is it one of those weird instances where, like, they're, like, technically a mammal because you can, like, milk one or something? I don't know. <laughs> sea creatures are weird as hell. Ah, that lowered hit rate when you're happy. <laughs> something else. Hello. Are you here because you didn't want to pay the toll? You're the third group I've seen this week. Going all the way, uh, all the way this, going all this way is kind of inconvenient, but at least you get to hold on to those sweet clams. You'll want to pay the last toll, though. Trust me. So are we going this way because like the toll for that guy is like exuberant or something, or extortive? <laughs> Wrong E word. Oh, I see another chest over there. Oh, that thing is slow. Okay, maybe it's an enemy like you're not supposed to run into or something. That is the most normal thing we've ever gotten out of a watermelon, just saying. You're an easy enemy. Oh, 
Another joke. I'm still working on it. Good. I think we've done everything on that side, which means we can go this way now. Is that an enemy? That's an enemy right there. Yeah. Air horn. Ooh. Ooh, those are bad um, emotions. I'm gonna run from this one. That looks rough. Yeah, I'm already sad trying to go against a... Yeah, yeah, because sad beats happy, not, not angry. I wanna run into that, like, fast guy. He looks like an enemy. Hey, more stuff for the bestiary, and I love reading that. Yep, okay, it is an enemy. What the heck am I looking at? Reverse Mermaid. Okay, why is its name backwards, too? Mori is sad, so we can take advantage of that. This looks like the kind of enemy that'll, like, run from battle, but, like... Okay, I saw the word run there, and I was a little worried. <clears throat> but if he can kill you, you get a ton of experience or something. Uh, get some health back on Aubrey. Alright, please tell me that thing's description isn't reversed as well. Fish, a was I, wish I, wish I. I wish, I wish I was a fish. Fine. <laughs> Why not? Musical clams. Please show them your support. Oh no, it's not particularly talented. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, I didn't want to fight you again. Okay, so you can fail to run. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. <laughs> so I can't run from you, okay. You're happy, so I'll use hack away and then uh, snack time too. Ooh, oh, that's that's gonna kill it. Fish taco, of course it dropped that. We need snack time one way or another. No, no. <laughs> I've learned my lesson from the crocodiles. Surprised I can't fight those jellyfish. Oh, is that a telescope? Oh, that's cool. Is there anything I should be looking for? Wow, that is a very cloudy day. Well, we are underwater, so...
Maybe I should have been looking for something? I don't know. I'm all out of tuna. Hello? Catching and raising fish is a hobby of mine. It passes the time and is moderately rewarding. Only the bones. Oh my god, it's one of those things. <laughs> Does anyone know anyone? Colorful roulette. Who has one of those? Those mirrors have to mean something, I swear. Sea cow farms. Like, those singing fish, like, they're, they're like, the epitome of a gag gift. Like, I, I don't know a single person who owns one of those, and that's probably for the better. <laughs> they just look ridiculous. Oh, more computer parts. You know, maybe I'll donate those off screen from now. It doesn't take too long to like use them though. I don't know. I want that blind reaction if I do happen to get something really good. Rain cloud is fun. We still have yet to find an, uh, a boss that is like perpetually un um, perpetually sad. I swear, like like I don't know, pattern recognition. We're gonna find one at some point, right? I don't want to do that one. I think I've explored this whole area. Oh, no, not yet. Gold wa- okay, that's another one of those items that you can just sell. Oh, we've seen this room. <laughs> How do you do that on water currents? I see a bear right there. I'm gonna need Aubrey in a second. It's down here. Another toll. Okay. The water is a bit warmer than it is in the cave up in the mountains. These characters don't look like they fit in this game. <laughs> Love yourself. Be kind to others. I donate to charity. Respect your community. <laughs> Those wholesome bikers. Sea cow farms! Oh! Okay, fine. Squizzard! <laughs> You're angry, so it might be a good time to use this. I kind of fear you more. No, no, you have a multi-hit, so I kind of want to get rid of you first. Ricochet is expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. I can always get MP back in, um, in like a few ways. Okay, so I take it the reason why, um... Oh, there we go. Uh, who needs healing? Kill needs healing. Oh, I missed it. I uh, do extra damage. So I take it the reason why that attack hit all characters last time was because, um, the gators were, like, taking damage in place of, um, of, uh, Jossum. You're not that, like, dangerous, honestly. 
I kind of expected more from you. <laughs> we got a lot of items from that. Mash! Oh! Oh, that's kind of good. I'm gonna replace wind-up throw with that. She's not, like, particularly fast, so it might be hard to, um... Moo? <laughs> it might be kind of hard to, um, to, like, time that, per se. Oh, also, um... Pocket... Every time we meet, we see a new enemy, I will look at this, because I love the, the descriptions in this game. The most disrespectful creatures on the planet has no friends, is never invited to party, and is terrible at jokes. <laughs> okay. Hey there, partner. Around these parts, I'm known as the Sea Cow Farmer, but you can call me Jim. The farmer, uh, the farm's been a family business uh, that's been going on for generations, but the upkeep ain't so easy with the land being overrun by squizzards and all. Tell you what, with all those dang squizzards running around, it's a miracle that the farm is still standing. If only there was someone who could get rid of the squizzards, I'd pay anything. And I just had a brilliant idea. If y'all don't mind getting rid of some slimy, stinky squizzards, I'd happily in employ your services for some clams. I know it ain't much, but it's all I got. Can't have no peace here of all these darn squizzards running around. Sure. <laughs> Chunky milk. So is the mission to just kill them all or something? Typically enemies, like, respawn when you leave a room. That's not a good, uh, roll on emotions. Ah, uh, that's a little better. I could use Stab on you to probably get some good damage off. Whoa, that would probably be really good for the muscle. Okay, hold on, let me try something. Running gun on you. What does Megaphone do again? Makes all friends angry, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Did a little too much damage. Oh, he didn't need that, what am I thinking? You know, at least it's not too expensive, so I can, like, fish with that if I really want to. Ooh, they hit hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So does he get 500 per one you kill? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, they do respawn. So I guess this is just a place for free money, then. Okay. What, was there more this way? Yeah, there was more this way. What is this? A restaurant? Okay, I thought this was a KK song for a second. It kind of sounds like one. I'm Sadie. My sister and I started this cafe together. 
But since clams have been tight, a lot of the my sisters decided to start working at the last resort. It's just me and my sister Eleanor left. I think we heard about this place there. I wish they would come back here. I would do anything to hear them sing again. Welcome to the mustard sub. Cheeseburger for 300. That's pretty good for that price. I'm gonna buy a few of these. Oh, not that many. <laughs> Three orders. Uh-huh. I don't know. I can ask. Okay, so you want four orders now. Enjoy the best cheeseburgers in town. Fries, tasty soda, life jam, you name it, or better yet, make it a combo meal. Uh, I, we just healed. The space pirates are, are ahoy away. Oh, you! What are you doing? To all the- his name is Space Ex-Husband now. To all of those lost lovers out there, this one is for you. Thank god, this freaking song. The space pirates are in entranced by their captain. God, what the heck? Ah, must have been my smoke stick. Uh, my smoke sticks at home again. I keep filling in the holes, but they just keep coming back. New potholes every day. I hope I'm getting paid overtime for this. Move along, move along. Nothing to see here. The highway's longer than I thought it would be, but now it's got to be a walk back to the start, right? Might as well keep going. Injured? Can't read that, it's too pixely. Um, Gator? Get Gatorney at law! <laughs> My god. Nice. Oh! I don't want to fight two of those. Those are annoying enemies. I guess I can't, like, get through unless I do... Oh, no. I could probably, like, sneak by you. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Life jam. Uh, if there's not a muscle, I'll do it. Okay, good. And we're happy, too. You know... When you do a tag move like that, I wonder whose attack stat it, like, does damage calculations with. That did way more damage than Kel normally does, so I'm gonna assume it, like, uses Amori's attack when I pass it to Amori. Another one of those things. so slow makes it kind of easy to sneak around you. Oh, there are a lot of enemies here. Um... Okay, good. Yeah, fish bunny is, like, easily the, the easiest enemy to deal with here.
Yeah, at least the fishmen, like, don't- or the reverse mermaids don't seem to, like... <clears throat> they don't seem to ever, like, chase you, they just run around randomly. I still feel like I just need to worry about them the most, though. Because, like, when you set something to run as fast as possible as at random in RPG Maker, it, it gets kind of annoying <laughs> to try and catch him. It's also one of those things where, like, they will conveniently run into you. Okay, there we go. So freaking unpredictable. Uh, yeah, I don't really think we need that right now. The heck? Uh, not yet. I will save, though. Oh, another key. Wanted. 1-800-GOOD-GUY. S. Almost forgot I was doing that. Another one of these tentacles. Yeah, it actually makes sense for it to be there, though. Please avoid my spikes at all costs. Thank you. I've learned to accept the holes at this point. Oh, I don't want to accept this one, though. Uh... Okay, then. Oh crap, boss, look, I wasn't sleeping, I was just... Or just a bunch of kids. They just want me to open the gate. Well, I'm gonna be real with you, the toll prices are jacked. It's gonna cost you, uh, 3,000 cl clams, but I find another... But I'd find another way around if I were you. Good choice. Save your money for a cool bike or something. Hey, do I want to go this way? This is the end of the highway. I guess I can't go. Okay, so I have to. I guess I have to go up this way then. So let's do a full heal. Only Kel's missing some life, but yeah, you never know. Hey, Mori, it looks like we've reached the end of the road. Literally, it looks like there's a long bridge up ahead. Whatever you do, don't look down. Is he afraid of heights too? No, didn't we overcome that fear with the ladder? Oh, we went to other world or something. All right, all right. This is not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I gotta say, I love this color scheme, like... Like pastel, like bright pink neon and like blue, I don't know, it looks cool. Look at this place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would have really liked it here. Basil. He would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah, I'm sure he would have. Huh? What is it? Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? What a weird qu Yeah, he, he has a flower crown and I think green hair. Why do you ask that, Hero? Let's see here. Basil... Basil loves taking care of flowers, and takes photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle, and even when he's upset, he'll always manage to smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. Oh, is this a chain of memories thing where, like, it's been so long that our we're starting to, like, lose memories of him or something? Is what's going on with him in the real world related to that at all? Well, no, because, like, we kind of lost characters like Aubrey, too. Like, she's an asshole now in the real world, but, like, we still very distinctly remember her here. 
It's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember him. But that doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil is our friend, and more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for too long. But I'm sure we'll find him, as long as we have a Mori to keep us on track. All this time Basil has been waiting for us, he could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet it could be, um, he could use a big hug right now. Then, uh, then, uh, when, when we're all together again, we should all give him a big hug. It's nice, to, it's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. Me and Kel? Get along? What are you talking about, hero? Stop being weird. Relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together soon. Hmm. Do I go down the waterfall or in this hole? In the hole. Okay. Oh my god. Yo, deep sea creatures are like so freaking alien looking. <laughs> like, what is that? It has like a human hand. Are you an enemy? Your memories are not free. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded. And yet, all memories will eventually fade. Perhaps you've already noticed. The curse of the deeper well. So this is the deeper well. Oh god, do we have like a maze? I don't like these. This looks like a maze area. Like a Lost Words kind of area. But, uh, with, with time, what is important will change. You must choose what you will keep and what you will cast away. Not everyone has that choice. Humans are bounded creatures. Your limits are what define you. What makes you human? And it looks like this is a dead end. That's good, at least. I <laughs> when a trouble shows itself, there is always a, the choice to run. One day you may very well find yourself running alone. The sun shines brighter when she was here. Who is she? I think I found the right way. like Ursula's lair or something? An unhallowed burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, Dreamer? What will you do? Speaking of Undertale... <laughs> it 
Those things even look a bit like those, like, weird, like, wrinkly brown things that people turn into when, like, Ursula takes their energy or whatever happened in that movie. <laughs> That is a very happy whale for, like, the, the tone this area has given me so far. Whale, hello there, friends! The name is Humphrey. What brings you here to my humble little cave? Oh, hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Sorry if we're bothering you. Oh, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you are the second group to visit me today. The first was just a girl, a very loud girl with a, with a, with a big red bow. Sweetheart. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. That's a joke, is it? She is inside me, you see. She's inside you? Why, yes. She is visiting my guests, for I am a home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together chatting and chuckling. It is so fun to hear about their da uh, daily antics. Sometimes they are even so kind as to bring me meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are close to my uh, they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd uh, they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. Well, it's an RPG trope that you go inside a monster at some point, and that's a dungeon. So, my apologies. The first guest seems to be causing some indigestion. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> me. <laughs> it's. Why is this a trope? It's such an oddly specific thing. <laughs> well, okay. Next dungeon, I guess. Wow, Humphrey's belly is huge. It's much larger on the inside, I'll say that. Sure looks easy to get lost in here. I bet if I yell, it'd make an echo. Echo. Ah, where'd you come from? Welcome to my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I am always here. I am inside me, and all around. Ooh, this is freaky. I'm everywhere! Or I am just here. Wow, that's so cool, Humphrey. I wish I could do that. <laughs> it's kind of gross if you ask me. So rude. There are many ways to go. Where should we start? Left. Right up, around. Does it matter? It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one, it's easy. They have a convenient boat ready for us, or raft ready for us. What are these trapdoors? These are, are those things on the side are trapdoors, right? I'm Humphrey, your all access pass to Humphrey, aka Slime Girls, Slime Girls Lair? Strictly speaking, I guess I'm what you uh, humans call an elevator. Unfortunately, we can only take one appointment at a time, so you'll have to wait at your turn. Though if you can uh, find me a, a slimy keycard, I might be able to pull some strings for you. Okay, so these are locked. This is weird. <laughs> What? There's like sci-fi technology in here, or what? Oh, hello, Marina. Are you here to steal my things again? Well, not this time. I pr I've uh, prepared something extra special for you today. As you know, I am a very busy person, but alas, you are my sister. I will grant you access to my room. If you're able to solve my little gift. Hope you can hope to see you soon, darling. If you're still alive, that is. They're wearing <laughs> lab coats. You popped up. You popped in just as I was in the middle of fixing this tube. Well, hello there, friends. You aren't ever. Uh, you aren't everyone's forte. If you get stuck, I can help you out a little, or maybe a lot. I'm preparing the entrance for the um, exiting new, uh, new exciting new attraction, but it's not ready yet. You should come back later. Like, tomorrow later. Okay, another thing I'll try to keep in mind, which we'll probably forget. 
Ooh, we have puzzles. Sure, I like I like difficult puzzles. Oh, Mari's here. I don't know if I want to cut any wires yet. Uh, we'll... Hmm. Questionable gelatin. We're at full health, though. Now, Amori, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, Wow, sis, this is a weird place for you to set up a picnic. Well, let me tell you. It may be recommended to only set up picnics in normal places, like in forests or campsites. But where's the fun in that? What if I want to study the anatomy of a whale while I eat? Then what? Expand your mind, Amori. I need to set an example for my sometimes boring little brother. Hmm. I think that'll be enough for this episode. Alright. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.